All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, back with my FX Streamline, and this is the pellet probe modification uh, for the high flow transfer port. I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm just giving information if you want to do this. And uh, for me, it's worth it um, taking full advantage of this transfer port. So anyways, I'm just going to go over this here. While I'm here anyways, while the barrel's out, uh, Allen wrench right in there and your transfer port uh, pellet probe will slide all the way out. Uh, can't get any easier, seriously. Um, so here's what mine looks like after the modification. I still need to give it a quick deburr, but as you see, I removed just that top end piece so it was open like this to accommodate the bigger transfer port. So now I get full air going into here. Uh, you don't, like I said, this isn't for everybody. You don't have to do it. I'm just taking full advantage of as much air as possible. And this is kind of why I bought the larger transfer port. Um, if you work on guns or have small hobbies or whatever, uh, kits like these are great. Um, this is all I used. Very small, very thin. And I had a quick makeshift uh, vice grips and I had it here. So I was cutting downward and I marked it with a, a fine line uh, pen. So I could just follow the lines and then I opened it up a little. The only thing I got left is a little fine deburring and polishing. But right now I'm right there. There's no sharp edges. So I just want to do a little better. So that's pretty much it. Um, this was like a 20 minute job. The only thing that took me a long time. Uh, both my good die grinders were at work and I found this in one of my... Uh, toolboxes so i had to take it all apart uh break clean or carb clean clean all the gunk out of it put it all back together re-lube it and i got it working so that was 20 30 minutes right there getting my die grinder working and another 20 minutes trying to find the small adapter so that really sucked but overall uh pretty dang easy i mean steady hand take your time and uh no harm, no foul. I mean, it's not really that difficult to do. I wouldn't suggest any bigger cutting grinder, uh, cutting wheels or anything like that. Uh, that little hobby ones really just do an excellent job. This is what I'll compare it to here. But super thin, uh, super light. I zipped it right through the first one and I was like, wow. Jumped over this other side, zipped that uh, little buffing on the side of the wheel or whatever just to knock the high corner off and uh, <clears throat> pretty much done. So um, I still, I said I was going to check <laughs> before I did this to see if I could get a replacement. Um, I'm not really worried about that. So, but I do want to find out if I can get a replacement and I actually will purchase one. I may never use it, but it's uh, just something nice to have. I don't know the price on this, so... Uh, that'll come into factor too, but we'll see. Uh, but this is pretty much all set. Like I said, a little more polishing just to my specific, uh, uh, how should I say, quality. So I like everything to be nice and symmetrical and nice and deburred polished. Okay, so I figured that would help anyone out who's... Uh, thinking about doing this and just hasn't seen too many videos yet um i think there is one out there i'm not positive i never saw it but yeah so that's pretty much it on this and uh i'll get it back together and i'm going to give you guys an update on the effects of this and uh you can decide for yourself if the 20 bucks or uh i forget how much it was 20 25 30 uh, either way uh, not really that bad so if it's worth it for you to get it then you'll uh, 
have a little more information to go with. So, till next time, guys. I wish you a good weekend. Good shooting, and be safe.